Jesus, sweet Holy Spirit, you take all the glory. All for you, only you. Thank you, Father. May the meditations of my heart and the words of my mouth be pleasing unto you, Papa. Holy Spirit, come and help your girl in Jesus' name. Amen. My special LHM family, Love and Healing Ministries. <laughs> okay, well, this is a, a special number from the Lord. And um, this is part three of, of the what I learned during my recent retreat. And um, this particular part is about the threshing floor, the experience I had, and what I learned about the threshing floor and um, how important it is for us to worship the Lord even when we are on the threshing floor. In short, that's the best place to actually worship the Lord from. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually sitting on that same floor where I spent 72 hours with my mouth zipped up. And um, the Lord is the one who asked me to sit here to do this part three and to lift my hair like this. You see my hair, it looks like I have been threshed. <laughs> it's kind of faded and um, it's not covered and everything. Yeah, because... Sometimes when you go to the threshing floor, I think every time you don't go there to go and come out the same. You don't take any produce into the threshing floor and it comes out the same way you took it in. There is a lot of sifting and the trashing and everything. So that was the whole idea. And to be very honest with you, I've heard about threshing floor, but I didn't really know what happens on the threshing floor and what it is all about. I had to go and do some Google research, right? Just like on the eve of the of the retreat, because I remember it's exactly two weeks now that I started out on the 29th of September. So on the 28th of September, when the Lord told me that I will do the retreat on the threshing floor, and He said to prepare the mat and everything, I thought it was something like I would sit on the mat during the day. I would learn. And at night, I would go and sleep on the bed. And he was like, no, big mommy. You will spend those whole 72 hours on this threshing floor. And in short, you will spend the night here today so that your body starts to get used to the threshing floor. <sighs> oh, yeah. I have slept on this sports mat before for a couple of days. Yet, it was not like I was obliged to and I, was, I could not go and sleep on the bed at some point in time. And uh, <clears throat> I remember I was sick, so it was even doing me much good to sleep on the floor. And uh, <clears throat> when I went to the village of Fu for one month, at least I had a mattress. I was sleeping on the floor, but I had a mattress. Uh, to actually experience this floor when it's a divine mandate was something completely different. Like 
the mat itself, the floor itself was sacred for me. And uh, I had a particular position where I could put my head, like, towards Papa's chair. You know, some of these things are not things that the ordinary man can understand uh, with a canna mind and those kind of things. So, I'm doing this video knowing fully well that some will not get it and uh, that's okay. But some will get it and that's equally very fine. And some might experience something like this later on in life and they don't remember that they once had something like this. Oh, you know, they might just hear now and then get curious and who knows, maybe your own trash flow experience around the corner. What I also know and I've experienced it today is that it's not a one-time thing. The, the Lord will trash you anytime. He just wanted me to really get kind of like know that that is what happens and um, that's the best place to worship him from. Because after all, true worship is complete reverence in, with total submission and everything. So uh, how, how much, I mean, the best way, I, I don't know. But you just, you just, you just go. You just, you you just flat. You just flat out. That's that's it. That's very very. You just, and so when you are on the threshing floor, be it because of something that has happened in life, be it because of a divine instruction, and all of that, or be it because you want to seek Him more and you want to humble yourself in that kind of a way. Like, I'm just, I'm down, Papa. I'm flat. I'm. I remember when I surrendered my life to Jesus on the on the 21st of november on the 16th of november sorry 2021 like when i completely handed it over to him i was on the floor stuck naked i was like this and i opened my mouth and i said jesus i surrender it all i am done i cannot anymore so yeah that was it i did not know that that was such a powerful experience that is stretching floor so let's see what um, I found from Dr. Google about threshing floor before I continue to share my experience about it. So, um, yeah, what is the spiritual meaning of the threshing floor? The threshing floor in scripture is a place of separation and revelation, a place where the harvest was prepared by separating the grain from the useless straw, useless straw. For the purpose of exposing and collecting the most valuable part of the crop so when you get to the threshing floor just be prepared for separation and revelation and there's a lot of useless that will be taken off from you and um, revelations in the form of instructions that is what i got and um, yeah i think that he's exposing a lot and um, the process is continuing and i I am actually going on a six months kind of retreat of social media from the end of this month, you know, till May next year by grace. And I know that's because there's a lot he wants to do in the wilderness or in the sacred place. So, and I don't have to be running my mouth, sharing it and status update and looking at things on timelines and all of that. Whoa. I've been away for three months before, so six months is just twice that amount of time. So I'll be fine. I, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to it, yeah. What does stretch mean in the Bible? It means to trample out. Threshing. Wow. It literally means dosh, to trample out. In Jeremiah 51 verse 33, Darak is used of threshing. Pitches and coming were beaten off with a rod, my God. The distinction between beating and threshing is made in Isaiah 28, 27. Uh, you don't really beat, you thresh. You, you, don't, you don't do it in such a way that you ruin everything. You're actually doing it with a purpose. So we get back to that point, separation and revelation and um, yeah, preparation. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, it wasn't a rod on my body yet. I, I felt some body pains. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, there's another place in the Bible where we hear of the threshing floor also. Remember when David was being punished because he took this census and he chose the three days punishment. But by day three, even the Lord himself saw that, hey, the massacre was, uh, the havoc was outrageous, was too much. 
And David himself cried out and said, Papa, I'm the one who sinned, not this innocent sheep. Now you want to finish them. Now, me now, what about me? And the Lord was like, okay. And then the Lord sent a prophet to him. And the prophet told him to go and, um, yeah, to go up to Ara. To go up to whose stretching floor? Aruma stretching floor. Yes, on Mount Moria. Mount Moria. And build an altar of sacrifice. So on the threshing floor, you can raise an altar from the threshing floor. So that means that what will come out from the threshing floor will be something special. I can't wait to see that me. Hey, God, it's painful. The decisions I have begun to take. And um, yeah, also the instructions he's giving me. They might not be so funny, but I, I am sure. That something very beautiful is going to come out of it all yeah because this is it <clears throat> for things to be made right the angel sent word to david to go up to aruna stretching floor on mount moria and build an altar of sacrifice so on that altar you also have to sacrifice wow and although aruna wanted to give the threshing floor plus the oven grain and sledges as wood for the sacrifice david insisted on paying it yeah because david wanted to sacrifice david didn't want something free so yeah what the lord is asking me to 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 offer to him during this period he has already started today actually in church i was on the threshing floor again and he asked me why i hadn't done something he had told me to do although i had started and i repented and i went and i was and i said lord i worship you with this decision i am doing it right away and i send that decision to the person consent immediately i had been holding on to my decision praying that the lord was going to change his mind about it or i don't know but uh, no 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 so i have worshipped him with it because worship is not only about singing and about posture and all of those things no it's about much much more so um i did that today yeah so the threshing floor is therefore important in a believer's life and not to be feared yeah that was the overall message i um i got so i must seek to worship the lord more when i find myself on the threshing floor so whether he is the one who sent me to the threshing floor or life brings me to my knees like people sometimes say life has brought me to my knees i remember when i was um how old was i 30 <laughs> and i told my mother that what have i not seen in these 30 years of existence and she really told me you haven't seen nothing you know don't say that <laughs> and now at 45 i'm like of course i hadn't seen anything <laughs> oh god there are things you will offer there are things no not offer you will lay on the altar you have to raise that altar and you have to sacrifice something on that altar and this is what is very difficult for some to do even for some christians no, no. sacrifice altar no that's becoming too spiritual well I might not do a lot of talking because uh, talking is cheap at this level. When you are on the threshing floor, let the treasure, let the one who is doing the threshing, thresh what has to be threshed. And then um, cooperate. And if you have to raise an altar, raise that altar. If you have to sacrifice, put a sacrifice on that altar, put that sacrifice. And if you need help, the Holy Spirit is there 24-7 um what are some of the things that i have <laughs> started to lay on my own altar because this is a special altar from the second of october the altar was special not just the everyday one to pray i have given up meat fish pork chicken prawns everything to do with carnivorous lifestyle i'm a vegetarian since the second of october it's something that I wanted to become in a way in 2018, but I couldn't withstand. I think I tried for a few months, but I was, I was dangling and I couldn't, 
well but this time around the, the way the the way the the app the, 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 the even the desire like i even had to pray for me not to disgust me not to be disgusted when i see any of those things uh that was also the same way with food when i asked the lord to take it even with men i was disgusted when i saw them and i had to pray for the the grace not to be disgusted so yeah it can happen that way like i am like black and white gray areas are very difficult in my life and so if i don't if i'm not doing something anymore i don't even want it to pass in my mind like i'm like holy spirit take those thoughts away and they really really come so um right now i remember today even after church i was passing and and i saw some you know roasted pork meat and i was like oh my god just the order i was like holy spirit help me and yeah that might not that that's not good that's the work of the flesh also because um it wants you to even think about it i don't want to think about it i'm just focused on that and i've also given up taste buds call it that way salt and sugar and stuff like that the lord asked me to preparation for my next assignment and i am good i've given that up and this is 10 days later and i'm fine you know i don't even miss it like even honey i had some and then i came and there was a little left and then i came and realized it was completely finished and um, i don't want to even have it anymore because you know you might even have some honey which has been mixed with sugar the one i had i bought it from bamenda and the person i got it from actually had the beehive um so i don't want to take a risk of using the one that is sold here in this supermarket and everything those a lot of it is mixed up so goes if i don't take something sweet nothing will happen to me um also um i was really looking forward to going to um somewhere next year and um the lord was making provision and i thought it was for that but um, he asked me on the 2nd of October to choose between that and um, the assignment he's giving me. And um, I painfully chose the assignment he's giving me because he's the one who has given me the assignment. And if he's asking me to choose, it means that he doesn't want me to break it, even for a few days. I thought he could, but I haven't had a complete no from him. But if he says choose, it means that, well, if he says uh, no, then it no, it's going to be a no. So yeah, those are the sacrifices. It might not necessarily be in monetary terms. It could also be this. Uh, but I don't want to consider that as a sacrifice because he's the one who gives me the money anyway. So uh, if he tells me to give it back and to lay it all on the altar or to do this or to do that, I just do it. By grace, he takes care of me. I don't I don't buy clothes I don't buy bags I don't buy shoes I don't he provides for me frankly speaking no lie I mean maybe I might pay a teller or something like that but very rarely and I, I it, it, it's not even something that I'm passionate about so I rarely go there like this thing I've had it for years like since 2018 2019 I have things since I don't mind at all I, I mean like the work so I kill them I just die to eat every day so yeah, somebody be encouraged. Do not run away from your treasure for experience and do not run away from pay very good attention to um, the instructions you receive while you're on the treasure floor and then do what you are asked to do. Trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. And um, if you have to shut down completely, shut down completely. If you have to zip your mouth, zip your mouth. Um... The Holy Spirit is there to help us 24-7. Amen. Oh, thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. May somebody be inspired, motivated, and encouraged. Darling Jesus, thank you for your precious blood. Thank you for how far you renewed my mind and transformed my life. Thank you, Father God. Take all the glory. I worship you with everything. I honor you. I love you, Jesus above everything yeah i choose you over and over again <laughs> bless my pastor bless my bishop bless my apostle bless 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 all the angels on my path yeah my sisters of the prayer room everything yeah